you can have development and conservation with proper management. And the critical words are with proper management. It's as simple as that. We run lots of programs here at Murdoch that have solved major biodiversity challenges. It's been a real privilege to be part of that. The research we're doing here at the Harry Butler Institute, it benefits everyone in the community across agriculture, tourism and the mining and energy sectors. Through the Harry Butler Science Centre we'll be able to showcase this research and hopefully inspire future generations to continue. The centre should strive to include Indigenous Australian values to ensure there is a balance between the environment and sustainable development. We're solving scientific problems with the vested interest of multiple stakeholders, government, the community, conservationists and industry. <laughs> it can be a challenge at times, but open discussion is always key. This is a science centre where you can bring people together to have those discussions, those debates, and that debate has to be across everything from school kids to professionals, and we need to use the latest technology the centre will be the physical expression of Harry's passion and unwavering commitment to environmental conservation for the benefit of future generations. It will be a proactive innovation hub where community, industry and academia collaborate to provide scientific solutions achieving coexistence of human development and biodiversity. It will be able to house large and small gatherings with a series of venues designed to seamlessly merge with the surrounding landscape. A gateway to the Belia Regional Park, a wetland of international importance and cultural significance. Nature and culture will work together to ensure irreplaceable cultural landscapes like Belia are always protected. The centre will be a well-connected destination with opportunities to observe, interact and learn while maintaining respect for the integrity of this unique area. The most exciting aspect of the design is the way it will engage the public using technology in new and exciting ways to explain the importance of science. The science we've developed here is helping to preserve the biodiversity of endangered habitats that have existed for thousands of years. We also want to help collaborate with industry to protect those threatened of endangered habitats. These powerful stories will come alive in an immersive and interactive experience to inspire children and adults alike. The Harry Butler Science Centre will be a foundational building for this university, also the state of Western Australia, where stakeholders can come together to learn and to have those critical discussions about the future of our environment. So the Harry Butler Science Centre will be a great legacy to Harry and the efforts he put in to Western Australia and Australia in informing the community about the natural environment. The new resources that we are seeking will allow us to build two pavilions. These two pavilions will allow us to fully utilise the immersive technology and to build the laboratory space that we believe will fully achieve the outcome we need for this building. This centre will help us to identify the threats to country and how better to manage those threats. This isn't about box ticking, it's about leadership and working together. This will be a legacy for future generations, a monument to collaborative effort. Harry would be proud of the Science Centre as a legacy to his efforts to educate Australians about the environment and promoting sustainable development. Most environmentalists have moved to talking about minimal impact areas. It's minimal impact because your biodiversity remains intact. Instead of focusing on species, we have focused on the processes that support the ecosystems that allow the species to survive.